it's, it was a child, a two-year-old little boy. Why does it take a death to finally take these people off the streets? It shouldn't have to go that far. The mother of a murder victim, now an advocate for victims of domestic abuse, pushing for change. Stacia Schnoor says the death of this little two-year-old boy in Albert Lee is another glaring example of a broken justice system where repeat offenders are given a slap on the wrist and people are dying because of it. Schnoor's daughter, 25-year-old Sabrina Schnoor, was shot and left to die under an Interstate 35 overpass in Owatonna less than two months ago. The alleged killer, Schnoor's ex-boyfriend, this man, 38-year-old Jason Horner, had a violent criminal record, but mostly stayed out of jail due to plea deals. Schnur's mother says that gave him the perfect opportunity to kill her daughter. And now we are learning more about the Albert Lee man arrested for allegedly killing his girlfriend's two-year-old boy last week. 25-year-old Austin Navarro also had a violent criminal history, including multiple arrests and convictions for domestic assault. Those include punching a woman in the head and face, allegedly smashing a woman's window shield and he was arrested for an incident involving a gun. Earlier today, my colleague James Wilcox sat, sat down and had a discussion with Stacia Schnoor, who says an Albert Lee boy is dead just like her daughter and our system is to blame. Well, I can only imagine what the past month and a half has been like for you. How are you doing? I'm holding up. Um, it, a lot of people have been motivating me. I've had a lot of people in the background who have had my back through all of this and it's been a great help. After your daughter's murder, you grieve and the, you, the grieving process obviously continues, but you decided to take action right away in what you thought was an injustice happening within our legal system. And now you're continuing those efforts. Tell us how, what are you doing right now? Um, Mostly I'm trying to make sure that it's brought to light, that it stays in the public eye, that lawmakers, that uh, judges, that attorneys, especially prosecuting attorneys, have to see this. They have to look at what's going on. They have, they can't turn a blind eye anymore. Um, keeping everything in the public eye is the biggest thing, so they can no longer sweep it under the rug and pretend it's not happening. And you started a Facebook page? Posting updates on what I'm doing and what I'm working on, um, tips to help women stay safe, um, a place for them to reach out to me if needed to find help when they need help. Um, I'm hoping some of our lawmakers and legislators join the group as well so they can see what's going on. They can see these women's stories that are posting their stories in the group and understand that this is a real problem. This is not something that just happens once in a while. This is a daily problem in our state. And you said that that kind of came to light after your daughter's awful, horrific murder. Um, then it happened again. You heard about this case in Albert Lee, a uh, yeah. little bit of different circumstances, but you still found similarities. How did you feel when you saw that about that two-year-old little boy being, being murdered? I was sick to my stomach. I could not believe it had happened again, so close together. Again, a lot of differences, but so many similarities. A little boy, you know, this guy was a habitual violent offender. Most of his violent offenses he was convicted for. So why was he on the street? Why does it take a death to lock this person up? Of course, it's still so close to the time of your daughter's passing that had to be just an extra hard hit to think. You're in the same, right by Albert Lee, living right near Albert Lee where this two-year-old was murdered and your daughter murdered just a month and a half ago. Yes. And two crimes so similar in just a town away from each other. In the end, what is it that you hope to accomplish? You want laws to change? That there's punishment for violent offenders. That they get locked up that eventually the court system sees this person is not going to change until they hurt somebody or kill somebody. This is all come on very, very tragic, very fast for you. I, two months ago, I can't imagine that you ever saw yourself in this position, not only dealing with the death of your daughter, which is horrific enough, but now being an advocate. Yeah, I didn't see it coming.
I, you know, I'd been telling her for years he was going to end up killing her. Um, it was always, Mom, he changed. Mom, he changed every time. And I told her how many times people like that don't change. Obviously, you are a wonderful mother. And again, I can't echo enough what I said earlier. I, it really is commendable what you're doing. And I want you to know you have all of our sympathies. I can't imagine what you've been going through. And it really, it's heartbreaking. And it's, I'm so sorry. You know, it, I, I don't allow myself to grieve because I'm afraid that it'll slow me down. So I just let it keep fueling me instead.